So check this out. I'm literally in front of some of the last 2024 TRXs available on a lot that are not spoken for yet. So let's check these out. So this is what it looks like to see our last supercharged V8 6.2 liter TRXs. Both of these trucks are almost $125,000 MSRP. Not cheap, not for the faint of heart. It's gonna be interesting because one day, I bet these things will be worth a ton of money. So if this is something you're interested in, I'd highly recommend reaching out to the championship Ram dealership in Brighton, Michigan to snag one of these two up. So this is one of the first final editions. I've seen a lot of the standard available for 2024, but I've never seen a final edition before. And what surprised me is I thought all of them would come with the beadlocks. This one does, this one does not. But they are both 2024s. 2024, and the final edition is not cheap. Kind of see. So what's interesting is it doesn't specifically call out final edition. I just think it must be part of the last year of, of manufacturing because you can see it's got the customer package with the 6.2, equipment level two, the dual panel sunroof with the running boards for a grand total of $125,000. All right, guys, I'm going to show you um, just how expensive the current 2024 TRX is. I've got a lot of the options selected, but if you're going to buy a TRX, why would you not want a level two interior with bead locks? I think that's kind of all part of the truck. Um, but I want to share at $118,000 MSRP, what do you get? That's the advanced safety group. Um, a level two with carbon fiber interior tow package. I didn't even include this final edition. Let's see how much this raises the price. That raises the price to $125,000, um, but that's okay. If you're looking for a TRX, there's still a ton of them out there. According to Ram's website for inventory, it's saying there's 1,500 TRXs out there on dealer lots. I know there's two nearby me. Actually, there's quite a few it looks like out there. So if you're wanting to be part of the last supercharged V8, you definitely want to snag them up before it goes to the RHO. You can kind of see you got the spray and bed liner, got the bed utility. This is a really nice truck. Got the big Bilstein shocks in here. I'm looking forward to comparing this off-road to some of the Raptors for 2024. And then you have the red version here. This is pretty sweet. One thing I've never understood about the TRX is why they put black on the rocker panels. If you think about a truck used in an off-road environment, the rocker panels are the areas that get the most abuse and black show scratches the most. I always thought they were gonna run a little bit different material down here that would hold up and not show scratches as much. Might be hard to see the window sticker, but this is a final edition as well for 124,970. It's basically the exact same truck as the other one, but this one actually has the bead locks on it. Kind of see the difference in the final edition bead lock versus the non bead lock. Ram has been running the ride height sensor. If you notice right here, that's a ride height sensor. And they use that for their suspension so you can kind of see, uh, it kind of lets the shocks know where the valving needs to be set. Ford does a pretty similar on the Raptor, but these are pretty sweet trucks. It's gonna be kind of, it's gonna be kind of sad to see these trucks go away with the supercharged V8. Definitely hoping that the RHO has a trick up its sleeve to be as fast or faster than the supercharged TRX. If you like this video, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching.